Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup by Courtney. It's Courtney, you can call me Court for short. And today we're getting into skincare. So I'm gonna be walking you guys through a complete skincare regimen at home. The skincare routine and facials are super important to maintain skin health and elasticity over time. Your makeup is gonna look the best when you have great skin, hands down. So I'm gonna tell you how to achieve this in three, two, one. So you want to make sure you have your headbands, something to keep your hair off of your face. And our first step is going to be washing our face. So I'm going to use a washcloth to just dampen my face before I cleanse with one of my favorite hydrating cleansers. You can find all the products and information on those under Makeup by Courtney on steveharvey.com. Make sure you cleanse really well in circular motions. And please, please, please don't forget your neck. So next, we're just going to use our washcloth and wipe away all of the soap off of our face. Make sure you get it off good. Make sure the skin is clean. Clean canvas, ladies. Our next step is to steam our face. So I'm using a pure steamer. It has a towel warmer, humidifier, and a face steamer setting. We're gonna do this for five to 10 minutes. This opens your pores, stimulates blood circulation, and if you want to do extractions on your face, if you have anything you need to extract, right after you steam your face is the prime time. I would say steam your face two to three times a week. Listen to one of your favorite songs while you're steaming your face. You can actually listen to two or three of your favorite ones. I'm listening to one of my favorites right now. Yes, hit that note. I'm hitting it. And this does get a little hot, so make sure, ladies, you're staying far enough so that you can get the benefits of the steam, but not so close that you're burning your face. So our next step is going to be to apply our homemade mask using honey and baking soda. So this is gonna be an exfoliating scrub that you can leave on your face for five to 10 minutes. You're gonna wanna use about two tablespoons of honey and one tablespoon of baking soda. I'm gonna leave some clumps of baking soda because they're gonna act as like pearls or beads. Using my foundation brush, I'm just gonna apply it liberally all over my face. Honey is full of antioxidants and it's super moisturizing while baking soda is a natural cleaning agent. So when you put those two together, you get squeaky clean skin with a great glow. So our next step is to use our hands and in circular motions, work and scrub so this feels like a super fine exfoliating scrub you can also sit under the steamer while you are letting your mask sit on your face and it will really penetrate your skin really well it's important that you use locally sourced organic honey the best thing you can find for your face this was still only $5.99 and it'll last you a really long time so invest in your honey, ladies. So I placed the washcloth into the towel warmer and it's extremely hot. If I wasn't such a goofy spaz, I would have used some tongs. <laughs> Shake out the steam, wipe that scrub off of my face and then you get that super clean, polished look underneath. I have a little redness just because I was scrubbing a lot. It'll subside after a few minutes. I got my skin really, really, really clean. I like to close up my pores with a clay mask. So I'm using a volcanic pore tightening mask here. This is one of my favorite masks, guys. It's Korean. So Korean skincare is the best. It's on top, then it's European, then it's American. So I'm going to use a foundation brush to apply this to my face as well. And this is going to close up my pores. I know this mask looks like it's kind of blending into my skin. It's kind of like a grayish brown tint. That is the coloring of the mask. I just spread a thin layer onto my face. It seems like you should let a clay mask dry on your face until 
your face can't move and it gets hard but that's just not the case because then you uh, just dry bacteria or anything that you don't want to get trapped into your pores so keep a moist towel or washcloth over your face while you let the clay mask work its magic on your skin so after five minutes we are going to wash this off of our face with the cold washcloth so next up is our spot treatment ladies this is for my ladies who are experiencing acne scars or hyperpigmentation of any type we're just going to use a small size and dab this on this brand has done wonders for my skin and fading my scars. So I'm just going to dab the spot treatment onto any areas where I have hyperpigmentation, like darkness, dark spots. And I'm just going to concentrate on lightening those to matching the actual pigment of my skin. So our next step is going to be to moisturize with a lightweight oil. So. I'm gonna use a lightweight oil. You don't have to. I've just been experiencing some dryness because I do use a clarifying gels or tea tree wash sometimes for my acne issues. So this lightweight oil, it's like jojoba oil and another type of citrus oil that really moisturizes my skin without clogging my pores. I'm just gonna massage this into my face y'all this is a time to massage your face okay whether it just be a regular moisturizer or a lightweight oil like I'm using really rub it into your skin Ugh, look at that glow guys my skin has calmed down next we're going to use a cream this refining cream evens out my skin tones by the same brand perfect tone and I'm just gonna press that into my face Throw on your lip balm and ladies, we are done. Look at that glow. I love to do this process. Jade rolling is super beneficial for your skin and it's kind of just like giving yourself a lymphatic massage. You are pushing and moving that roller upwards and away from your face. The goal is to drain all of the toxins from your face. If you're just doing your simple skincare routine in the morning, I highly suggest following up with sunscreen with SPF ladies, okay? There's a myth that black people don't need sunscreen and it's just not true. Harmful UV rays are everywhere, okay? I love this sunscreen, it's called Black Girl Sunscreen. There's no white film, that white purple weird film that goes on and maybe you see it a little bit under your makeup, it turns you gray, none of that look at that glow guys oh my god i'm so happy i got all my tools so i could do this at home i look like i just got a facial literally ladies i've got something special for you guys in the next episode don't miss my tips on how to achieve lori harvey's signature glow i've got the tea guys you don't want to miss it see you next time